I feel vindicated, but I don't want to be vindictive about it. They've had a deservedly long sentence, and that's right, but I'm not going to jump up and down in delight because it's a serious matter. It, it, it is, and actually we've, uh, have a, well, we have a picture of the defendants there who are now starting long ser uh, sentences, but also a picture of you after this beating, which I must just warn viewers, is, is just a, a, appalling in terms of the damage to your, your face. I mean, you, you look remarkably recovered now, but just, just, just tell me what sort of injuries you sustained. I had a fractured eye socket, a broken nose, and, and lots of bruising, which necessitated a transfusion. But, you know, one mends in time. I'm as good as I ever was, which wasn't perfect, but it will do, I think, so I'm quite pleased. I do have continuing uh, double vision on my left side, but it's something I can cope with. What about the, what about the emotional uh, damage or harm? Yes, uh, I think I was fortunate with the physical injury mending. I, I've seen a reminder of myself getting better. I think it's been hard for my wife and my daughter Eloise, who've had no such reminder. And it's been difficult for them, as for me to an extent, getting better, forgetting what happened. And my wife still gets flashbacks, and my daughter was in tears in court today because it still affects her emotionally. But we're, we're with strong characters, we're getting through. The the, the attack it, it itself happened so quickly and, and obviously terrorised your, your, your family. Do you, what do you remember of that evening? Yes, well, it, it was quick, of course, but to me, those eight minutes last seemed to last a lifetime. So I, I, I remember it in, in great detail still. And so when, when one hears bits of it being talked about in court, it brings it back to mind. But it's never been out of my mind, really. That's something I hope I'll get closure to today. And, and, and burglary seems to be the motive for aggravated burglary, but, but, but what else? I mean, you, you wanted to find out why you had been targeted. Do you have any idea why? Um, well, what the, what the defendants said wasn't very convincing, and they said things that were contradictory, and perhaps it was naive of me to expect anything else. But something the police told me in confidence to yesterday after, after the hearing um, has convinced me that it, they had the wrong address, so I, I feel quite satisfied now on that score. Um, you own a, a successful club in Covent Garden. I mean, did you ever consider maybe it was a, a link to that in some sort of way? Yeah, it was many in the press speculated it might be, but, but anyone who knows the bar scene would know there's no cash involved. And, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful place, but it's very small. It, it's, it's not the type of place that would, that would cause gangland fights, I'm afraid. Did any of them express any remorse or regret for what they'd done? Um, through the easy words of their counsel, but to be frank, today was the first time I saw them in the dock and I wasn't convinced they looked very remorseful. They wouldn't meet my eye, but nor did they look particularly contrite. How, how, how difficult was it for you to see them in, in court today and indeed for your, your wife and, and I... children? It was far more traumatic than I expected, actually. I, I, found, I felt fear again seeing them, which I didn't expect to feel. My, my, my wife was visibly shaken, and Eloise, my daughter, was in tears at one point when the sentence was read out. So it affected her, well, it affected us all more than we were expecting. And, and has it dramatically changed their lives and their sense of security, living where you do? I, I don't exaggerate that. It clearly makes one more cautious and a bit more apprehensive. But you can't let these things dictate how you run your lives. You know, we live in leafy suburbia. It's not a dangerous place. This was a one-off. It was a mistaken identity. They got the wrong house and the wrong address. And um, we, one moves on from that. I don't want people to live in fear. These things are very unusual. Any, any sense of being able to forgive them because they, they were high on alcohol, I think, and, and drugs and things as well? Or is that just too, too remote a, 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 an emotion to feel at the moment? No, no, I think it's important one does try to forgive them in the end. Um, if you can't forgive, you won't forget. And you have, unless you forget, you, you will embitter yourself or become embittered. So in time, I hope I, I will forgive them, but that will require them to show some, some real contrition, and I've not seen that yet.